a dream of mine right here driving this thing. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1967 Corvette powered by an L71 435 horsepower engine, painted in marina blue, factory side pipes, and it's coming from the Stork Stingray collection. We've had this one for three years, and we are gonna release it to the public today. If you wanna find out full details, click on the link below. That's gonna have underside shots, close-ups of the engine pad, close-ups of all the serial numbers, and it'll allow you to make a good decision on this beautiful marina blue Corvette. Let's do it. I would rate this easily a nine out of 10, and we never say that at Bullet Motorsports. This is coming from our private collection, the Stork Stingray collection, and it hasn't been on the market for over three years. We sent it out to service before putting it in our co uh, collection, and they went through everything. So this is a turnkey unit. You guys can jump in it and drive it, but this is more so a jewelry piece. When you look at the body lines on the driver's side, it's extremely nice. All of your bright work is nice. You do have your side pipes, and you also have the 7.75 redline tires on the aluminum bolt-on wheels. The interior is black, the clock is still ticking, everything works as it should. Let's spin this thing around and show you the other side. Passenger side is extremely clean, it's the same as the driver's side. There are no swirls in the paint, all of your gaps are even. The hood is very nice. The only imperfection I see is a small little bubble on the, underneath the actual windscreen, and we have that in the gallery, so you guys can look at that, it's nothing major. All of your bright work, as I've said before, is very nice, and it does have a beautiful white top with the placard still in place. All of your metal is very nice. Let me put this in so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? She's nice. 435 horsepower, four speed, black interior, side pipes, aluminum bolt-on wheels, and a black stripe. Let's go. Before I put the top away, I want you guys to see how beautiful the underside of the deck lid is. It folds up nicely, your frame rails have been painted. And then you guys are probably wondering what this is. This is actually a pillow that you put in place so you don't damage your top when you store it. And it goes right here. And when you close it, it protects the glass from having any damage. Storage compartment is very nice and clean as well. It's turnkey. Let's open up the hood. Let's talk about under the hood. This is powered by an L71 435 horsepower engine. So that has tri-power, so it has a special intake manifold with three two-barrel carburetors. It is tuned to pure symphony. So if you guys get on it, there's no dead spots, and we're gonna show you that later on in the test drive video. You do have the J50 power brake option, alternator, and this one does not have any power steering. When you guys look at the gallery, so click on the link below, you're gonna be able to see all the underside shots. That's gonna have all the bushings, your bird cage, the whole nine yards, and you guys will be able to decipher if this is what you want to put in your collection. If you guys are looking for jewelry, look no further. Let's talk about the interior. Extremely clean, all of your door edges are very nice, and it's over, it's actually over restored. You get inside here, I'm six foot, 205 pounds with no issues. The clock is still working, you do have the AM, FM option. Shifter is very nice, ashtray is nice, the dash shows very well with no warpage. You have your wind visors here, and a beautiful white top. Let's start it up and take it for a test drive. It hasn't been started for almost, I don't know, five days. That's beautiful. Let's go. Before we take this beautiful Marina Blue Corvette for a test drive, I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. Please be sure to click like and subscribe below. That's gonna give you guys more great content and maybe we'll release some more of the Stork Stingray collection. Let's go for a ride. Oh yes, listen to those side pipes. We're gonna take this for a spin around Marina Mile. My favorite part about this L71 package is the amount of torque that you get. You can put this in fourth gear and it'll still move around at this low speed. Steering is very nice and responsive. It does not have power steering, but it's very tight. You do have power brakes, so you have the J50 option. You have the AM FM radio, and it does actually operate, which is nice. You just have to find a station. There we go. Clock still works, dash is very nice. We still have the owner's supplement manual inside there. And if you guys wanna see the numericals for the, um, for the block and for the transmission, you're gonna see that in the gallery below, so click on the link there. Just listen to it. Oh, music to your ears. So this is coming out of the Stork Stingray collection. This is a collection that uh, Paul and myself have curated for over six years. And this is one of the nice ones. This is a jewelry piece for sure. Clutch is really easy. Obviously, I'm using it right now to move back and forth because we're at an incline. This 
listen to that. That's third gear, 40 miles an hour. That's fourth right now. We're at 1,800 RPMs at 40 miles an hour. No slippage at all, feels good. Our lights operate so we can put the headlights up with no issues. And then uh, you can pull the light switch and turn them on. So that's working as it should. Super smooth, your tack's working, your water temperature gauge is working, your voltage is working. We have 70 pounds of oil pressure. You can downshift it in the third. It just feels so visceral. This is raw American power, 1967 Corvette, Marina Blue, four-speed transmission, L71. Downshifts are easy. And if you want a little bit more boogie, Feels good. We're gonna turn around here and head to our artistic area so we can go over some bumps for you. You can see how the suspension feels. If you have any questions about this ride, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Thanks again for watching, and if you guys like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Woo! It pulls so hard. <laughs> Turn signal's operating as it should. Mm. I'm just rolling into the throttle. I haven't even been able to get on it yet. Clock is working. We keep these on tenders and we keep 110 octane in them. And then before we actually let them sit, we pull all the fuel out of the carburetor. Just listen to that. Going into third here. We're gonna take it right after we go over the bridge so you guys can see the suspension react. And then we're gonna bring it over to where the airplanes land because we are five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale airport and allow you to decide if you want to put this in your collection. So if you want to fly in and you want to drive it home, I hope you do that. You can definitely do it with this one. Horn works. Just a nice piece. Listen to it. Oh my gosh. We're going to go over the bumps now. So here comes the first set. No issues. Here's a big dip. Listen to those side pipes. This sounds so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's great. Let's do one acceleration run here. We need one acceleration run. Here is first gear. You guys need to buy this thing, it's amazing. Hey, let's get one flyby on this road. <laughs> wow, that'll do, that will do. 954-363-2261, have a great day. By the way, I'm feathering the whole time. These tires are not holding up to 435 horsepower.